after car ride, plane ride, overnight at the airport in Geneva. One, two, four train rides. Finally here in Wengen, Switzerland. I have no idea where I'm going. I've just woken up. It's not quite sunrise yet. There's a little bit of rain drops hitting my head. And I'm heading on this short walk. It's about 30 minutes apparently to a viewpoint over the Lauterbrunnen Valley. We're gonna see if we can make an image. So typical for this channel, I actually have no idea where I'm going. I did screenshot a map to this lookout, but I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. So it looks like coming out of the village of Wengen now, so I can kind of start talking normally. Didn't want to wake everyone up in their cozy, warm, rain-free hotel beds. And just up there, this cloud covering the mountain tops. The rain is kind of spitter spottering, spitter spot, spitter spattering. Haven't had coffee yet or breakfast. Just wanted to get out. The forecast is pretty terrible for the time I'm here, quite honestly. So I'm tr trying to take advantage of any chance I get when it's not pouring rain. So I'm going to head a bit down this path and hopefully find this lookout. Don't know if you can hear that on the microphone. Those bells, I think they're the bells that they put around cows' necks in Switzerland so they don't lose them. It's kind of funny to hear those when I'm walking out here on my own. <laughs> Bit of a sneak peek at what I'm trying to photograph today. Amazing valley, the Lauterbrunnen Valley. Being quiet again because there's lots of holiday accommodation here. Hello, Mr. Cow. So I didn't realise that this walk was all uphill from Wengen. Wengen, Wengen, Wengen. And I don't think we're that high. I'll put on screen the altitude of Wengen. It's hard work though this morning. Is it the altitude? Is it the no coffee, no breakfast? Or is it just that I'm a little bit unfit? Let me know in the comments, <laughs> oh dear. So according to the map, or at least my interpretation of the map, that should be an amazing view of the Lauterbrunnen Valley. But it's actually a view of a digger. This is like literally the end point of the walk on the map. I'm just gonna keep going a little bit, see if I can actually work out where I am. If anyone's got a stair master they don't need, I think I'm gonna have to start <laughs> using one. It's very beautiful though. I have the whole track to myself. So I think I'm gonna try and set up shop here and see if we can make an image. I've got the Canon 16 to 35L series on here adapted with the Metabones adapter to the Sony a7R4. And I'm just gonna put the lens hood on. It's not a very deep lens hood on this lens. The reason I'm doing it, even though we've got no sun for lens flare, is it just might help keep a few of these old drops of rain off of the lens. The problem with this location is there's really no foreground. I hope you can hear me over those bells. There's really no foreground. So it's gonna be more of a vista kind of shot, which I'm not overly keen off. I don't mind them. And the main focal point is really the, the valley. Sounds like those cows are going crazy. Sounds like a dog's chasing them. Oh dear. Oh dear. There's a herd of cows running towards me. I'm hoping I'm sealed in, or they're sealed in that paddock with this electric fence and they can't get out. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So there's two fences between me and those cows. Actually, one electric fence there. I think they got spooked by a dog. What is it with cows and this YouTube channel? Let's just bring you down here for a minute. As I was saying, cows in this channel, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know there's a bit of a cow theme at the minute. <laughs> just go watch them and you'll understand. So let's try and get an image before we get killed by cows. All right, I'm just gonna try and mark this spot and set up the tripod. I'm on a bit of a slope here. So everything's trying to fall down the hill. That's gravity for you, I suppose. All right, let's try and get an image before it gets too light. Right, here we go. Two second timer. 
Right now I've got some shepherd coming down to see me. So let's take a look at this image. This one was bracketed so I could kind of have some options with the exposure. We'll see what this guy has to say in a minute. Hopefully he's just a cool Swiss dude out walking and not thinking I've scared his cows. All right, I think I'm in the clear. No uh, cow scaring finds from the Swiss Farming Association. So that shot I just took, it looks like a bit, bit of a snapshot to be honest. What I'm gonna do is I might try throwing on a longer lens and see, see if we can isolate the valley a bit more and get rid of some of that boring foreground. I have to be quick though, because I'm really not sure what this weather's doing today. I was gonna try the 24 to 70 Sigma, but I might actually go straight to the 70 to 200 bad boy, just because I really want to isolate the valley and get rid of some of that boring foreground. And I hope you can hear me over the noise of the ding dong cowbells. Just make sure these lens caps are on. I know some people have just put their lenses in the bags without lens caps on. It's not for me, I'm afraid. Looks like the cows might be coming down this path very soon. So, I'm gonna have to hurry up. Oh dear, I really hate being rushed. All right, let's try and get something really quickly before I get in anybody's way. I'm gonna start trying to isolate that valley a bit more. Working really quickly because the rain's coming too. Auto focus, two second timer, bracketed shot. Sometimes with landscape photography, you get so caught up in taking the photo or making the image that you forget to just experience where you are and just look around, especially when you've got things happening that you can't control like weather or cows. Just out of frame down there, it looks like there's some mist coming up the valley. Right, I'm gonna relax and try and get an image that I'm happy with now. I've tried a few compositions at different focal lengths, right from 70 all the way to 200. I'll put up on screen now some of the, the first shots that I took with the 70 to 200, and they're okay, I don't, don't love them, but I decided to really just really try and use that long reach of the lens to isolate the mountain ranges rather than worrying about foreground interest. So I'll put up what I quite like actually, and you can let me know down in the comments what you think of it. So even though I'm not 100% happy with those images, a bad day of landscape photography is still good, especially if you get at least one image that you're okay with. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.